Turning to Shanghai, where Taipei Mayor Jiang Wan'an spent the week attending the annual Twin City Forum. On his last day in the city, Jiang went on a riverside bike ride with young Taiwanese expats. He also met with Taiwanese business leaders in the area. Speaking to media, Jiang said that everybody wants cross-strait peace. He added that Taiwan's people all know which party will be able to achieve it. On his last day in Shanghai, Taipei Mayor Jiang Wan'an got up bright and early for a bike ride with young Taiwanese expats. The main thing was to hear their opinions and their voices. When it comes to schooling, working, entrepreneurship and raising families and establishing careers, what are the problems that they've encountered? What can the Taipei city government do to help? As for the unemployment rate, there are a lot of university graduates here, so it's quite similar to Taiwan's situation. Everyone is also trying to defer graduation as much as possible. Jiang spent the morning along the Huangpu River, cycling and chatting about life in Shanghai. The mayor says he hopes to have exchanges like this every year. I'll do everything in my power to make sure the Taipei Shanghai City Forum continues in the future. At a banquet the night before, Jiang weighed forth on cross-strait exchanges. One day later, Chinese state media Global Times reported that the KMT was well positioned to foster ties. It also blasted the DPP for obstructing cross-strait development. Everyone wants peace and stability across the strait. As for who can achieve that, I think the people of Taiwan all have an answer in their minds. Jiang avoided sensitive questions during his stay, perhaps because of election concerns. Also visiting China was former KMT Deputy Chairman Andrew Xia. The head of the KMT's Taipei headquarters, Huang Lu Jingru, is said to be planning a visit to Shanghai in mid-September for exchanges with the CCP. During the Twin City Forum, he had no reaction to pro-unification statements made by the CCP. I think that will certainly impact the KMT's performance in the upcoming elections. Only by having goodwill for each other can we gradually fix the relationship. That is why everyone thinks that this year's Twin City Forum could help the KMT in the elections. Views differ sharply over the Twin City Forum, highlighting the yawning gulf between the DPP and KMT.